Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Middle Earth. It's a beautiful morning here beside the Great River. I am at my base and I've been doing quite a bit of work off camera, so I thought I'd show you around. Hello, rabbit. I thought I'd show you around before I left. This is my house. It's still fairly ghetto, but I've improved the roof to some degree. Uh, I've added some amenities inside. So first, let me show you quickly the outside. Uh, this is, like I said, really basic, but I wanted to get a few things set up. Uh, I set up a small farm here. I'm growing some pipe weed <laughs> for obvious reasons. I made a little pen for my pig. Uh, what else did I do? Um, I This is another weird thing. There was a vendor showed up. Uh, a sales guy or a trader from... Was he near Harad or Far Harad? I can't remember. But I saw him over here and I purchased a couple plants that I, I don't know what they do or what they're for, but I planted them here and I'll see what happens. I also got this. Oh, it was near Harad. Okay, the near Harad scimitar. 6.5 attack damage. I picked it up because it looked cool. And uh, <laughs> it's not great, but I needed another sword. And let me tell you why. Okay, first of all, having a base here um, seems like a good idea. And having a fence here seems like a good idea. But two, count them, two invasions have happened since I started building this house. One of which was right here. The other one was like right here. So when like a hundred guys suddenly spawn and are constrained by a fence and they're inside <laughs> where your your base is, that is not a good thing. So yeah, I, I wasted down my, my armors getting shot. I, uh, I totally broke my sword and I picked this one up, but uh, there, there is something in Middle Earth, which I've been looking at called banners and they can protect certain areas. Um, you, you take a banner and you put it on a block, like, I think iron, gold, or silver maybe, and they protect you. Monsters or bad guys can't spawn within a certain radius around this banner. I am going to need those. Um, I, I have banners from some of the bad guys, some of my enemies, but I don't think that will work. I think what I need to get or what I should get is either dwarven banners or ranger banners. Um, and since I'm going back along this, I'm going back here and I'm basically gonna go uh hmm I think I'm probably gonna go this way this is the blue mountains I'm probably gonna go this way down I'm gonna sneak in here and right here is Eridor and there's lots of rangers there so that's you know two birds one stone I'm gonna get a couple banners I will when I come back here I'm gonna set those up to protect this hopefully this area from having invasion spawn at least that's the plan uh, because it's really not that fun to have guys suddenly spawn into your house when you're trying to build a roof. I I got shot off this roof about 50 times. Uh, I think I might have some video somewhere and I'll throw that in. <laughs> Maybe in the credits. I'll throw it in at the end uh, and let you guys take a look at some of my, yes, more inept fighting. Anyway, inside. I put down the thatch that I found at uh, somewhere. Uh, yep, those are silver blocks, <laughs> because that's how I roll. Why not? I don't have any other use for them. I built a little fireplace with the hearthstone blocks that I found in the villagers, in those hillmen's houses. Uh, my bed's here, that's kind of inconvenient, but hey, work in progress, right? Ah, okay, little basement storage area. Put up some crafting uh, benches, most of which, uh, see, I can't use because I'm enemies with them. Uh, but yeah, oh, the ranger crafting table I can. Other stuff, no. I wonder if I can make a ranger banner. Hmm. I never thought about that. Well, anyway, uh, I'm going to an orc forge. I can apparently use forges without uh, alignment settings. I also built this for no reason, just because it looked funny. <laughs> this is kind of how they had the houses set up, the hillman's houses. So I just replicated one for no reason. Anyway, I got a lot of building supplies that I used to build and ores and weapons and blah, blah, blah. Food and miscellaneous stuff. So yeah, there's tons of stuff. Like I said, work in progress. Not a fan of the cobblestone, but... Oh yeah. Not a fan of the cobblestone, but it'll be replaced. I'm running low on resources, and I want to get back to the Shire and or other places to collect some new things and interesting things. That's sort of the goal of this base, uh, is going to be to basically, you know, build it up as I go from things I've found out in the world. And that's the plan. Uh, what else? Is there anything else? I think not. Um, I'm basically done here. I'm going to fast travel in a few seconds. I have, I should have some food. I'm, my food is getting a little bit lower. So I, when I go through the Shire, I can raid a few more houses. Maybe some farms and find more bales of hay. 
Um, yeah, this house is still looking a little ghetto. <laughs> I don't like how it's all one color here. I want to change that, but like I said, I want to get some exotic woods and exotic building materials before I do that. All right, so we're on the move. Let's hmm, fast travel. Uh, should I? What's this? Long bottom. Should I actually go back to my house? I think maybe I'll just go to Long Bottom here since, you know, I've already been to the Shire. I've already been around here. It's not a huge stretch. Just saves me from walking a little bit. Let's do it. Fast travel. Hey, don't move. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Beam me up, Scotty. I'm fast traveling to Long Bottom. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Let's go. I wonder if, like, does the time change when you fast tra travel? Oop, sorry, horse. My my magic must have killed you when I fast traveled. All right, we are back. We are back in the Shire. I missed this place. Huh. Uh, the Blue Mountains merchant has arrived. Wait a minute. D did can I buy like a forge or something off of him? Is this you? You're a hobbit, aren't you? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You're not a blue... I'd like a juicy cup of steak. Oh, cut of steak. <laughs> a plate of chips. You know what? No, I I want to... Where is the merchant? You are not a merchant. Neither are you. You all look like hobbits. Where's the merchant? Can I save myself this whole trip? I, I mean, I'd like to go to the Blue Mountains. Let's be honest. I want to go and see what it's like. But it'd be nice to have some mithril first. I mean, mithril armor anyway. Or some weapons. I don't see any merchants. Up here? Oh, who are you? Who are you people? The problem with having a million hobbits around is you never know who is not a hobbit. I guess I should know a dwarf when I see one, right? Question mark? Oh, I wanted pumpkins. That's one thing I did want. So let me grab a couple while I'm just right here. In fact, let me just grab all of them. I, I don't I'm not sure what other kinds of sort of exotic fruits and food stuffs that exist in this world. Oh, there we go. I think I think I see them. These guys look short. Hey, we have some dwarves. Come here, dwarfy. What can you give me? No, I want to trade with you. Where's the trader? Is this guy the trader? Are you the trader? You are. What do you have? Glowing dwarven, dwarven pickaxe, dwarven leggings, dwarven, dwarven marriage ring. What? I do not want to marry you, sir. Hold on. I need money. Uh, where would my money be? Under miscellaneous. I'm not sure if it has to be out or not, but when I when I went through the near Harag guys, uh, it had to be outside of... Oh, I thought you left for a sec. No. Trade. I want a few of these. Give me four. I, a spear. I kind of like this pickaxe. I want a pickaxe too. Dwarven leggings. What do you think? Is it worth it? Dwarven marriage ring. Hmm. Dwarven leggings. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> uh, mostly because I think I can probably find them when I go there, maybe. If I'm uh, going into dwarven mines or going into houses, I might be able to find them myself. We will see. I'm not actually sure how... how... Here's the thing. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about another thing very quickly, and I'll do that now while I'm here. Uh, if you look over here, these are the Iron Hills. And this is actually where you generally will need to go in order to uh, get Dwarven Forges, which is what you need to make Mithril Ingots, which is what you need to make armor and weapons. Uh, apparently, the, the Forges don't exist here, I'm, I, at least from what I understand. But you can get a crafting table here and you can use the crafting table to make a forge so i'm hoping that that will work out for me 
I think you need to use dwarven bricks or blue vor- dwarven drag- blah, blah, blah. blue dwarven bricks. Say that five times fast. Uh, to make the forges. So anyway, I'm going to go down here because it's easier and I don't really want to go through Mirkwood right now without some better weapons or armor. And I'm just going to give it a shot. Let's sort of see what happens. Oh, I forgot my pig! Are you kidding me? Oh boy. <laughs> After all that, I forgot my pig. I oh. Do I have an extra saddle in here? I don't. But I can make one, right? Uh, how do you make a saddle again? Uh, this is not turning out exactly how I expected. <laughs> uh, I don't even have a crafting table either, do I? Wow. Okay. Mike is unprepared. Let's sort of get some stuff out of here. Wow. All right. Well, let's just do this quickly. Boom. Is it this? It is. Okay. All right. That wasn't too bad. But I, yeah, I'm, I'm bummed that I forgot my pig. He's been on all my adventures with me almost. Well, pig number two, actually. But still, that's, uh, I'm disappointed. All right. Throw this in. You guys can all go in there. You can go in there. The dwarven pickaxe. Which is slightly better than what I have. Can go in there. Uh, yeah. What am I doing? Um. Oh. You can go back in. Hello? Okay, let's see if we can not throw the bag away and get a horse. Let's take this guy. Come here, horsey. Let me... Oh. Nope, nope. Empty hand. Empty hand. Forgot. Where are you? Come here. No, be my friend. You, trust me. I won't kill you, I promise. Oh, you you are just... You good? Are we, fr we are not friends. You are not in a good mood. Where'd you go? Come on. You're the angriest horse I've ever seen. Are you just... Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, we got a horse. Let's move. Am I going in the right direction? <laughs> I do not really want to go along the road. I want to go sort of southwestish. And I'm going no wow. I was basically exactly in the wrong direction. Well, no, I'm sort of, you know. I want to be heading along this way. And of course, there's a huge river in my way immediately. Are you kidding me? This is not good for horses. Can I find that long bottom guy? Is that a thing that can happen? Can I? Sort of skirt around this bad boy? Maybe. Let's keep going this way. All right, well, the quest, the quest, the quest, <laughs> the quest. Me no speaky English today. The quest uh, for Mithril is taking, a, well, a lot longer than I expected. At least the quest for Mithril armor and weapons, which is what I really want. I really just, I want to get it done so I can explore. Although the blue mountains are going to be very interesting. I'm guessing there's lots of stuff there that I've never seen before. I'm not sure. Oh boy. I'm not sure how, you know... <laughs> How I'm going to do without a pig. If I see a pig, horse, you are done. Well, you're not done. You're free. So, if you see a pig, let me know. And I will free you. Actually, haven't done a lot of quests for the hobbits or anyone in particular. Uh, I did, did a couple, I think, at the beginning. I'd like to do more, but I'd like to get a few things done first. Maybe once I'm done here, I can also... Could be dangerous. I'm, I could also build up my house a little bit in the Shire uh, to sort of have a backup base and a place where I could go to. I also wanted... Yeah, where am I? Whoops, that's not what I'm doing. Okay, I got a long way to go. I might as well just keep going. I'm not going to stop every two seconds. I was thinking I want uh, one of those kegs and stuff for my house. Uh, this is... 
Why are there so many rivers here suddenly? Did I bring a bed? I certainly hope I did. I spent so much time sort of working on my house that I forgot <laughs> about preparing for my trip. Which included forgetting my pig. At least that means I'll have a pig back there when I am... Uh, hey, you can't ride normal mm. pigs, can you? Uh, yeah, at least I'll have a pig back there when I go back. Maybe I can find one out here as well. And uh, leave him at the Shire house. There's some... The horses are so cute, the baby horses. <laughs> I like that they're baby animals in this mod. It's something I always sort of thought was missing. This is something else. I didn't even know there were donkeys in Minecraft. That's how long it's been since I've played uh, Minecraft. I had no idea there were donkeys. I booted up a vanilla version to test something out, and I saw donkeys, and I was like, huh? I... what? <laughs> I guess it has been a while. I will, I'd like to start a series. That is a huge tree. I'd like to actually start a series. Um, you have anything interesting in there? Oh, I see some hay barrels. Horse, don't run away. Yes, 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 yes. Give me your... I'm not sure if I should be using an axe or what. I'd like to start a series of vanilla Minecraft. Maybe 1.8, the newest ones, because I've never actually played that. At least not really, so I have no idea about the new biomes or the new... Uh, I don't need alcohol. Take another bed. What do you got for me? Books. Oh. Okay. I'll take the keg. Perfect. Uh, if I could just get down here, that would also be perfect. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. Scare me, horse. Yeah, I'd like to try... I'd like to uh, start... A playthrough of Vanilla Minecraft because it's been so long since I've played it. I think the last real playthrough I did was... I can't remember if it was 1.52 or 1.6. Probably the longest playthrough I've ever done was on 1.52. And so I that was the only version where I really explored a lot where I... Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way again. The very wrong way, actually. Uh, that's probably the only place where, uh, the only, only version that I really went through and found everything and completed the game and sort of, I knew it like the back of my hand. And I think I, I almost overplayed that version and that's why I stopped playing. Um, so yeah, I, I'm back into it now. <laughs> uh, and I've never tried the 1.8 version, so I'd like to do that. I may do a, a sort of survival type playthrough and see how it goes with some mods. I do like vanilla Minecraft in the beginning. The problem for me is, you know, I reach a point where... What? Go. Go up. Go up. Why can't you go up there? I reach a point where I just kind of like, I run out of things to do. And the initial parts of Minecraft are my favorite, so having mods, and especially like this, where you have incentive to explore new areas, it's basically a role-playing game, an adventure. And that kind of thing, oh, let me just focus on which way I'm going. Uh, that kind of thing I love. So yes, uh, I'd like to throw some mods in there. I'd like to try, and I've I've never really tried it, what's it called? Microsoft? Uh, Microsoft. Minecraft Comes Alive, which is a mod that adds sort of a lot of villagers and different kinds of people and and uh, you can become a king and uh, there's a much stronger system of villager interaction and that seems like a good thing too. Minecraft is somewhat a lonely experience sometimes and I like it that way but you always you have your moods right sometimes you want to be alone and sometimes you want to be with friends. I am way off track here. I, I really want to go directly southwest. So no more messing around, let's go southwest. Uh, well, let's mess around. Oh, which means I don't have a lead either. Oh boy. Well, let's just hope this works. Don't run away, horse. Okay. There's no bad guys here, so it really doesn't matter. But I just don't want you to run away. Okay. 
I don't have a lead. I don't actually know how to make leads. <sighs> it's kind of cool, that horse up on the hill there. It's like a cowboy movie gone wrong. Or maybe gone right. It's night! Come on, let me sleep. Hey, stay away from my bed. <sighs> Horse, what are you to do? There we go. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to say good night here. When we come back, we will continue our journey to the Blue Mountains, and hopefully we'll get there next episode. Take care, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed watching this, and have a great day. <laughs>